Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. More importantly, and this is pretty freaking important, welcome to summer. Summer starts now. Summer starts as soon as that woman is off work and she's off work today at, at this point. Doggone trees are stinking in my way. It's really windy. Um, that tropical storm is passing overhead now, but it's actually not that bad. It's not even raining. It's not even raining. This is, this is more of a tropical storm letdown than anything. Not that we want tropical storms, but at some point I'd like Mal to experience some of the stuff that I've experienced, and this is not it. It looks this. like it's almost windy enough to like break this tree. It is windy. Yes. I'm going to walk out here, and I apologize if you guys aren't going to be able to, to, to hear anything because it's so windy, but let me just walk out here. It's windy. There's a lot of gusts and such. Um, you got the kitty. Kitty was scared. Aww, were you scared of the wind? Why are you so scaredy cat? Uh, right now, and I'm going to move back in here because it is windy. Um, we are actually going to meet uh, Jarrett for lunch. Um, Jarrett borrowed a movie of mine a while back and he's going to return it to me. And instead of having him come all the way here, we figured it'd be more convenient to just meet him for lunch because we wanted to go out and get some groceries and stuff. So uh, this, is, this is really exciting though because Mal's off work now. Like, when I wake up, she'll be there and stuff. I don't know. It just, it means a lot to me. And I, and I like having Mal around. So, let's go get some lunch with Jared. We already ate. This, yeah. isn't, this isn't even necessary. I just wanted to show his face. Look at that face. Here I is. Go to work. Okay. Another thing we wanted to do today was go to a real bike shop. So we're at a real bike shop. Know this, it says bike shop on the side of the wall over there. We're gonna see what the prices are. Um, we already know that I can get a bike that you know, pretty much fits me for 150 bucks. Mal got one for you know under 100. So how are those prices gonna compare to a real bike shop where I could fit, find something that actually fits me? And if it's worth the, the cost difference? Let's find out. It's a nice bike. It fits you. Don't hit that car. Man, I... It's neat because, like, it's big. I like how it's like this matte black. Yeah, I like that too. They're, they had one with red rims on the inside, which was cool too, but I like this one better. This is, I mean, it's, it's interesting because like this is a bike that fits me, that is much cheaper than I was expecting. You know, something I can afford and it's from a bike shop, has a lifetime warranty. On the frame. On the frame. I mean, and you then, pop a tire, that's not warranty. Yeah, I understand that, but hmm, I've been avoiding bike shops like Lake because I was like, eh, we can't afford a $400 bike. And we can. And we can't afford a $300 bike. It's fat. But this is a $250. And that we could do. Yeah, we can do that. Might do this. I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed. Um, this is the uh, beach bike shop, by the way. Um, I wasn't going to say the name, but now that I'm really pleased with the establishment, I'm like, oh yeah. Um, we met the, we met the guy in there and talked to him and um, the bikes bikes are expensive just in and of themselves but when we told him you know kind of our price range and that we weren't looking for anything fancy and he showed us a cruiser which is the same bike that I was looking at at Walmart this one is obviously more expensive but it feels like a better bike also it fits me which is a kind of a deal breaker because the other bike doesn't quite fit it's close but it doesn't quite fit um, and this is a situation where this would be worth the extra money easily to to get the nicer bike, to get the bike shop bike. Wasn't expecting this today. Absolutely. I, I mean, we were like, okay, yeah, let's stop in the bike shop because we said that we would. And now I'm really glad we did. Me too. And it's not a situation where I feel like this would apply to everyone because bikes are expensive. I mean, I've seen bikes online that are, you know, thousands of dollars. But if you're looking at what we're trying to do you know when it, where a cruiser would be fine this price range is you know very reasonable and the bike fits me which has been a problem so 
I think that we might get that bike. We can't get it today, because I don't think I can fit it in my car. But we can come back with the van and get it. It's a nice bike. It's a very nice bike. Ducks! There's even little babies right little there. Little baby ducks. There's lots of ducks. Ducks! 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 Ducks are cute. Dunkin' Donuts! <laughs> it's free donut day. It, well, if you go to Krispy Kreme, it's free, period, right? And if you could go to Dunkin' Donuts, it's free if you buy a drink. And we like the drinks at Dunkin' Donuts. So we were willing to buy a drink and get a free donut. National Donut Day is awesome. Another thing I wanted to test today was the use of this VCR. Seems strange? Let me explain. I use a Blackmagic Intensity Pro, and um, one of the faults with the cards is that it doesn't pick up low resolution pictures. In other words, it wouldn't pick up something like the Super Nintendo, or the Sega Saturn, or the NES, because all of those pixel resolutions are actually really, really small, like 240 or less. So because of that, and because of some weird non-standard video signals, the Blackmagic doesn't actually pick them up. So one of the ways that you can fix this is to actually up-convert uh, the signal to what would essentially be like 480i, and then the card should pick it up. But in order to do this, you need another device. You have to run the signal through something and then reprocess it out as a higher resolution. A VCR can do that. Well, some VCRs, not every VCR, but I have two VCRs at my parents' house. I went home today and uh, picked up both of them because I'm hoping that this will work. I've got the Sega Saturn hooked up with Sonic Racing and um, before, anytime I hooked this straight up to the uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro, there was no signal. Now that it's hooked up through the VCR, I'm hoping that we'll get something. So. Let's just hit power right here. I don't know if this is going to work. Nothing appears to be happening. Alright, I couldn't get this one to work, so I'm trying the other VCR to see if I have any luck. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all the settings right. It's just a matter of if I can get any picture or not. After playing with it for just a few moments, it looks like it's not going to work. What's bad is that the Sony actually came up on screen. Like, you, when you hooked up the VCR, that came up. Like that signal was strong enough, but it looks like it's not up converting the things. It's not up converting the, uh, the line in, which is what I needed it to do. It looks like it's just passing it through. So that kind of sucks, because I needed it to up convert it so the black magic would read it, and it doesn't seem to do that. Oh well, I tried. And to end the day off, we have a wonderful taco bean soup that my mom has prepared, which is awesome. We've had a really busy day. Like, a lot happened. You realize that, right? Yeah. Because you finished school, mm -hmm. and we did a lot of grocery shopping, etc. We found a bike that I really, really enjoy, which we may get, I don't know. And um, we've attempted to try and get this whole recording old game systems working, but there's a little left to do there. It's been a really busy day. But we did good. It was a good day. Maybe there will be just as much going on tomorrow. But probably not, because i got to get more work done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's move back tomorrow. Ciao. I had to go through a few things at my parents' house, and while I was rooting through some stuff, guess what I found? This is totally a blast from the past. These were gold-plated cards that they sold at uh, Burger King, and I collected the entire set along with probably many of you. A lot of you probably still have these. And if you open them up, they're little uh, Pokeballs that open up and display uh -huh, these gold-plated cards. And they come with a certificate of authenticity because that's really required. It's just really, really old stuff. Not very convenient if you have to walk over that way, but it's, it's not too bad. It's just a gigantic uh, tomato plant or two, and also some peppers in there. I built this! <laughs> I ran over a denizen! You have two stars. Yeah! <laughs>